See if y'all got any questions. Let the cats cool off for a minute. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot Come on here. outside. We'll see if y'all want to know anything. It's hot in here. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 So uh, if y'all have some questions, type them on in. We have the computer around, and we'll see uh, see if, uh, if y'all have any questions for the band. Do you want to keep playing for them, or you, are you done? Well, I'm just gonna answer a couple five. questions. Yeah, and then uh, and then we're gonna come outside. Hey, cats, y'all want to come out here? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. I brought you a gift, Harry. Thank you. We hear you like him. Hello! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. 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 setting up. Yeah, and by the way, for all y'all at home, if you have any questions for anybody in the band too, we're all here, so lay it on us. What was the first question? What's your favorite song to play in concert? Well, there's so many. Like, what we just played now is just called a blues, and we like doing that, but we like doing everything from standards to modern music to original tunes, things that feature different traditional jazz, yeah, stuff that features different guys in the band. Uh, we like We like a lot of different kinds of things. Uh, where are you guys right now? Right now, we're on the west side of New York City, and we're right next to the great uh, Intrepid Museum, uh, and it's it's absolutely incredible out here. It's a beautiful night. We got some people out here. Hey, guys. Yeah. So it's really fun, and uh, we just played the tune inside, and now we're chilling out, getting some fresh air. Yeah. Uh, is the band sleeping in that house tonight? I tell you what, it's, it'd be tough because it, it's, it's pretty crowded in there unless we slept standing up. Uh, I have dibs with the vegetarian. Yeah, that's right. Augie, Augie, and you know, he's got some, we have a special relationship. Somebody <laughs> asked if, uh, Heather asked if you could introduce the crew. Sure, absolutely. So uh, let me let me introduce you to the guys. This is Arthur Latin. Uh, he's from Nacogdoches, Texas. Uh, I, I met Arthur uh, 19 years ago when I was doing... Um, the Hope Floats movie with Sandra Bullock and Arthur was uh, who's from Texas we were shooting the movie in Texas 
Arthur was playing at a club. You remember yeah, the name of the yeah, club? Cedar Street. Cedar Street Club. Yeah, Cedar Street. And uh, I heard him play, and I, I thought he was so amazing. And I remember I, I asked you, if it wasn't that night, it was shortly thereafter, mm -hmm. you know, would you consider playing with me? Right. And we right. did. And yeah. it was it's the, best, the best thing that ever happened to me, because Arthur, he he's the only drummer I've ever played with that is a master of all of the styles that we play in this band. Uh, traditional jazz, New Orleans parade music, uh, all different kinds of Latin music, um, uh, pop music, country music, uh, modern jazz music. I mean, he does everything because he's a combination of a great technician and an incredibly creative mind, and he's the greatest guy you ever want to meet. So that's Arthur Latin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. now right here, he's the, he's the newest member of the band. Augie Haas from Milwaukee. Yeah. Yeah. Tell him the first time you heard me play. Uh, I was like maybe 16, 17 at, uh, in Milwaukee at the Riverside Theater. Yeah, I yeah. mean, now we're playing the together. audience. And let me tell you something about this guy. So if he did not even play the trumpet, he'd be the greatest guy to hang with because you're so smart, you're so funny, um, and it's great to watch America get to know you on the Harry Show, but he is a monster lead trumpet player. Uh, yeah. He's incredible. Such Woo! such a great uh, high note player. He swings so hard. He knows how to lead the section. Uh, he is the real deal. Augie Haas is the real deal. And I like the fact that you're from Milwaukee because there's so many great people in that part of the world, and you kind of representing that for us. Sure. Augie Haas. Yeah. 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 Now this guy here. Don't worry about him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Mark Bro. He. He's the real deal. He's from New Orleans. Tell him a little about, a bit about yourself, Mark. Oh, well, uh, from That's New great. Orleans. So over here... <laughs> <laughs> no, tell him. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. I'm, uh, I was born the son of a sharecropper. No. Um, can you? Can they hear? You can hear him, right? On, on, okay, good. Yeah, I was uh, born in, in New Orleans into a musical family. My, uh, my grandfather was a musician. My great-grandfather. All my uncles, cousins, and everything. So I've been been around music all my life and grew up playing in brass bands and stuff like that around New Orleans. So just highly influenced by my by my musical family. Yeah, and we are so lucky to have him in the band. Uh, it, it's it's an amazing thing and, and, and one of the great things about Mark that not a lot of people know, because you're a pretty quiet guy, but when you get to know him, he's one of the great joke tellers ever. <laughs> he, he's a great joke teller and he loves good jokes. Uh, and and I have to say, with all due respect to you and me and anybody else that loves to tell jokes, the best joke teller in the band is Jerry Weldon. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Now, Jerry Weldon, Jerry and I met, uh, let me take a guess, like 83? Yeah. Was it 83? 84. 84, because Jerry was playing with Lionel Hampton's band. That's right. Lionel Hampton's band came through New Orleans. I was still in high school, and I sat in with the band. And so we met then. Yep. And then we met... Um, when I joined Lionel's band That's when right. I was 18. That's right, when you, first, when you came to New York. That's right. That's and right. then when we put the big band together in 1990, right. you were in that band. I sure was. And Jerry's been with me for for 26 years, all over the world. Yeah. Tell, tell him a little something about yourself, man. I'm a native New Yorker. <laughs> and I've been out here playing for many, many years. And uh, like I said, I joined Harry in 90, and we've been... We've been uh, hitting it ever since. It's just, just the greatest, greatest, greatest in the world. Yeah, it's been it's been pretty pretty amazing. And I'll tell you a secret about Jerry. He's not the guy that you want to be on the bandstand with if you're a young and up and coming tenor player because his sound. He's known for his sound. His sound is so big. It, it, if if you don't know what that means, it would be like a like a heavyweight fighter. It would be like a guy like. Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson, whose punch is so strong, you'd be a little intimidated. When you stand next to him, you know what that's, that's like. And there's only a few people, where's Jeff Burton? There's only a few people who, who go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Now, this young man started, he was a little timid, but now that's he's right. up there going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jerry right. Weldon. This is right. Jeff Burke. Right. Yeah. Jeff yeah. Burke. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff Burke and I met, we were working on a show together, uh, Thou Shalt Not, which is a Broadway show. Uh, I was the composer, and how would you describe your job for that show? Uh, music copies. I was helping you just 
get parts printed. Right, and we we worked so much together. We were in the same room for hours and we hours. We were in and a room smaller than this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. For like a month. For a month, and, and all we did was like order smoothies. We ate, we had blueberry smoothies. Blueberry smoothies, <laughs> and all we did was look at music and play music. And I say, Jeff, what do you think about this? And we talked and talked, and we became such close friends. And he became like a kid brother to me. So he eventually joined the band because Jeff is is an a remarkable musician. He's also a multi instrumentalist. He plays. This is an alto saxophone. He plays uh, the baritone saxophone. He plays the flute. He plays the soprano saxophone. He plays the keys. He plays a little bit of everything. So Jeff Berg is a, is a and and he's the guy who takes all the music that I write and gets it to the band uh, via this computer technology that we have. So he is the man. We couldn't do it without him. That's Jeff Berg. Yeah. And he's got a great six pack. He got a heck of a six pack. Who else we got? So come here, D. So this guy. This is Dion Tucker from Miami, yeah. and Dion brings. A, 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 yeah, oh yeah, D Tuck. <laughs> Dion brings something that that before you came we didn't really have in in the band. He's an amazing technician on the trombones, incredibly soulful. But I think it's your it's just the way you look at the world. It's it's a balance for the rest of the mm. band. Not only the way he sees it through his camera, he's a genius photographer, but also maybe it's the way you were raised. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure, but you have a different way of looking at things that we have all come to respect and depend upon. Tell, tell me a little bit about yourself. Oh, I'm from uh, Miami, Florida. I joined the band in 2007. Uh, I was recommended by Harry's bass drummer player at the time, Joe Barati. And funny enough, um, when Joe called me, I was at home watching, I don't know if I ever told you this, I was I, at home watching uh, CNN, okay. and a video of you came on with the band playing. And I thought, man, how cool is that to have your band in the music video? And then a few minutes later, the phone rang, and it was Joe. And he said, you want to play with Harry Cotton? Wow, I didn't even know yeah. that. Yeah, and it, it, the next day, I was in, I think it was maybe The View we did first, and okay. the rest is history. Wow. Yeah. Do you remember what you told me about the opportunity of being on this nationally syndicated television show? Do you remember what you said to me? If you don't, I'll remind you. Don't remind you me. said, you said how important it was for you as a grown man and as a musician as a trombone player to be able to be playing your instrument and, and have these young kids turn on the TV and see someone of, of your caliber playing and how you could inspire people yeah I mean believe it or not Joe Barati who's the trombone player that recommended me called my trombone teacher from high school who he's very close with and the teacher said, that's the best student I ever had. That's wow. really what gave Joe the confidence to say, all right, go wow. do it. So, I mean, yeah, you, you work at it, you wind up in a tiny house. <laughs> <laughs> He's right about that. And, uh, oh, come here. Okay, now this guy here, he has a story all, all, all his own. I was in Paris with the big band, yeah. and I don't know who came to the gig afterwards, but Jonathan was playing with Tremaine Hawkins, and it was at another venue, right. and I heard about it, ended up going, and I, 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 you've heard me tell this story a thousand times, but I remember looking at the stage from the audience, and as incredible as Tremaine Hawkins is, I couldn't keep my eye, eyes off of you. And, and, and what you were doing, you were doing things I had never heard before. It, it, was like, uh, it was like the guitar was just getting in the way of your musicality. It's like your musicality is so boundless. It was just like the guitar happened to be there. And, and Jonathan DuBose Jr. is, we are so proud to have him in the band. There is no one like you. You are unique. You are a blessing to us and brings so much joy to this band. And, and, and what he does on the show every day, that's why y'all need to come to the show in New York and see what goes on during the commercials because Jonathan, Band, and, and I'm telling you, uh, there's nothing you can't do. I, I have asked Jonathan over the years, hey, uh, can you play this rock and roll thing for me? He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I say, hey, can you play this Brazilian uh, thing? Yeah, no problem. Uh, it's amazing. One thing I must say, Harry, you always challenge us to go far beyond what we are normal, what we're used to. And because you believe in us, you make us believe in ourselves. And I want to say thank you for being the buffer 
to make all of us shine. Mm. And so because of you, all of us are better. And we all want to thank sure. you. Come on, let's put our hands yeah. together. Yeah. 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 I like I tell these guys all the time, I feel like we're on a rocket ship, all of us, and each of us has a seat. It's not my rocket ship, it's not John's rocket ship, it's our rocket ship, and I just feel like we we've been on this incredible journey, you know, it's, it's been amazing. So Jonathan Dubos, who else we got? Come here, Neil. Now this guy here, I've known him since he was a youngster. <clears throat> Probably since you were a teenager. That's right. And the bass player I had for a long, long time, one of the great jazz bass players in the world, Ben Wolf, uh, wanted to go off and do his own thing. And I was desperate for a bass player. And he said, why don't you get Neil Kane? And I'm thinking in my head, Neil Kane from St. Louis? He's a, he's a kid. This dude here, he, I mean, how do you, you know, I mean, to do what he did, yeah, no, no, truly, you know so much about it harmony and rhythm and playing the bass and you have a cool energy and a wit about you that if it were missing from this group it, we would not be the same right, band right, so it, right. it's amazing sure. tell, tell them a little bit about yourself well first of all i just want to thank you man for not firing me after all the <laughs> <laughs> i'm just kidding around <laughs> you joke around you around. Well, what by I the way there's something i have to tell you <laughs> Look, I'm looking for a job out there. <laughs> no, but for real, you know, before I got with you, I played with a lot of great jazz musicians. Benny Carter and Elvin Jones and Diana Krall. Most of them fired me. <laughs> I just want to say that. No, but for real, when I, when I got with you, man, it was just like an instant connection. It was. Like was. Big brother, little brother. Right. And I really, I've learned a lot from you just about music, harmony, and also just how to be a business well, I love you, and I'm, you know, couldn't do it without you. Couldn't do it without yeah. you. And I think we have one more guy. That's right. We got Lou. Yeah. Lou, 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 Lou. I think it's only fitting that That's Lucian right. Barber is the last person I talk about because Lucian, and I've kind of said this about everyone so far, but I think it applies to you the most. This band would not exist without you. It is not, it is not a band without you. Lucian Barber right. is a legend from New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, he is an incredible man. Uh, he is a wise guy. He is a, a, a extremely witty, funny guy. And there's no one on the planet, and I'll go on record saying this, there's no one on the planet that I would think would be good enough to follow this man after he plays a solo right. on the stage. I've seen yeah. him do it for, for years yeah. and years and years. Yeah. When you fin yeah. finish your solo, yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's curtains. <laughs> curtains. It's curtains. It's time to go home. Every single night. Every yeah. single Every night. Single he night. takes a trombone yeah. and does things that productions with explosions and all kinds yeah. of stuff can't do. He can right. stand up there by himself. Let me see if I can explain it this way. He'll take a very slow song and play a solo on it. Now, for those of you who don't know a lot about music, that basically means he's making up a new melody on a song that everybody knows the melody to. And he'll finish that melody. Now, when the tempo is very slow, most musicians right. want to get out. Correct. Because you've said everything you need to say. He'll start a new solo, which is a completely different story, and then another, and then another, yeah. and then another. Yeah. And he'll go on for 10 minutes, and the people on the edge of their seat. Yeah. It's one of the most remarkable things yeah. ever. Man, I just thank God for you, Ellie. <laughs> thank I really you. Do. And I just want to let your people know how he's like my brother, and he's been a blessing for me and I really appreciate it. I don't know if you remember this but we was in Princeton um, Princeton in uh, June of 1990. Yes, right. and when I first saw you, you was on a piano standing with a, bo a bottle in your hand and I was like looking at you man, in the second line he was dancing and I was saying wow this is going to be a crazy tour because I didn't know I didn't know what you had in that bottle. <laughs> I didn't, it was, it was me back in the I didn't, day. Need, I, didn't, I, didn't remember, I didn't either. But it was yeah. apple juice. It was. Yeah. 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 Wow. And I said, man, this is going to be a crazy that. tour, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, and we're still on it. I know. Right. Right. All of those and we're years. here. We're I still know. doing it, man. I thank God for you. I thank Amen. God for you, too. I love you, man. I love you, too. That's my band, and I truly believe they're the, they're the best band in the world. And, and the most amazing thing about it, for the folks at home, you can turn on your TV in the middle of the afternoon all across this great country of ours and hear the highest level of musicianship just by turning on the show. 
every single day. It's it's like uh, it's unbelievable. I, I've never seen anything like yeah. it. So it's pretty great. Do we have any more questions yeah, from the folks right at home? Here. Yeah. All right, Renee Riggio wants to know: Are you guys gonna jam? Yeah, we're gonna play. Uh, oh. Can we get uh, right here? We got the keyboard. Is this we come over here and play, or oh. can we get it in here? So we're gonna, we're gonna set it up. Uh, a couple more questions, and we're gonna play. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Harry. Hey, are you a Cubs fan? Boy, I tell you what, I got. I'll be totally honest with you. In New Orleans, we didn't have a baseball team, and. There was, I didn't really root for a team. My dad is a Red Sox fan. Since I live in the New York area, I've been a Yankees fan. Jerry's a Mets fan. So I, I didn't really have a team. But I was rooting for the Cubs only because I couldn't believe that it had been 108 years. And boy, about oh, what a, what six a or seven yeah, in, uh, innings into that game, you're thinking they, they're not going to win. Right. And then the rain delay and everything yeah, right, else. Right, right. Wow, I, I tell you, I'm a Cubs a fan classic, now. Classic. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Hey, Harry Connor has something to say. Hey, Connor. You actually went to the Manhattan School of Music? So I went to the Manhattan School of <laughs> Music. Do you mean like because you it actually, the yeah, music right? doesn't sound like it? You did? You I did. I went, I, went for, I went for about one semester. Do you go there? Yeah, I hope I won't be longer than a semester. Uh, <laughs> you will be. <laughs> you, you're going to be fine. Anybody else in, in Facebook land? Oh, oh, sure, go ahead. I have a question. Uh, what you will tell about my daughter? She want to be in Broadway. She's uh, four year. She's uh, studying musical theater here in New York. That's terrific. You know, I tell you, Broadway, it's one of these high-risk, high-reward things. If, if you persevere and you keep going to auditions and keep working and keep working, the payoff can be pretty great. Because if you want to be a Broadway performer, this is the, the place to be. You just you have to persevere, and, and you can't go into an audition and be rejected and take it personally. I, I know can't. she knows it. Good. If she knows that, she's, she's going to be fine. Just keep telling her, keep, keep working, keep working, and eventually something's going to happen. Just stick to it. Thank you. For sure. Don't quit. That's it. Don't quit. That's it. Anybody else out there? Uh, Facebook? You got any Maggie out there? Maggie right here. How close yeah. are we? Very close. We just, we just got to get this turned on. You oh, guys are just getting get infinite get it love on Facebook. When you went through everyone, everyone was giving love to every single person. Someone wanted some people to tell some jokes, though. So Jerry's. I don't know, are there any jokes? Jerry. 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 Well, no, I there's, mean, look, there's, look, there's, look, my wife's not here today. I'm, I'm, I take her everywhere, but she finds her way home. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously. Jerry. You know what she made for dinner tonight? What's that? A reservation. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. How small is the house? How small is the house? Huh? huh? How small is that? Oh, this house here? Yeah. I had to come outside to change my mind. <laughs> no, 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 listen. No, listen. I needed, I needed a key to come in. I stuck the key and I broke the window. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I, that's pretty small. That's small. It's pretty small. That, that's right? very, that's yeah, a small no, it's, house. It's, it's, it's yeah, really I mean, it's very small. Yeah, yeah. How small is it? Well, I mean, to oh, you tell me. Oh, you're asking me? Oh, yeah. I'm telling you. Huh? Uh, it's so small. Um... Uh, I, 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 I got nothing. I've been up since six. I got, no, I got nothing. But well, I tell come you, on, we got to start playing because it's, it's getting a little cold out here. You know, so, geez, yeah, like, I, I, I chipped my tooth on my soup. You know? No, I tell you what, it's so cold out here. The politicians have their hands in their own pockets. Oh, 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 oh seriously. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. come on, my teeth are shattering. My teeth are chattering. Really? In the glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's so, it's, so, it's so cold, hitchhikers are holding up pictures of thumbs. I mean, it, it's cold. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the first time I started hitchhiking, I, yeah. got, I had a bad time. Is that I right? used the wrong finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I haven't heard that one. Okay, so, a few from home. John, you got some sound yet? Yeah. Okay, you got some sound, uh, Neil? Oh, you want to get the bass? Okay. Uh, we want to play some kind of up. Yeah. What are you going to play? I don't know. We play some, uh, uh, this is called the Intrepid Blues. Yeah, you know? Yeah. 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 Put on your 
have dancing shoes. We out here playing the intrepid blues. If you don't work, you gotta pay your dues. Out here playing the intrepid blues. I'm gonna show you just how it's done. He ain't working out, he's playing for fun. <laughs> Thank 
Now that cat back there on the tambourine, he sure plays nice, he don't play mean. And everybody from the Royals to the Roaches knows the cat from Nacogdoches. Oh! And right here in the middle of Manhattan, that's my boy, Arthur Lappin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. symphonic, they're Harry Connick. I'm gonna play the keys, I'm gonna play them for you please, I'm gonna tickle the ivories like you never seen. Are you ready? I'm gonna just play one note, but you're gonna have, check it out, check it out. sit down and relax for a minute and uh, stick around. We'll be back on Facebook Live. Yeah. 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 Woo! Yeah.